before talking about 9th complement or 10th complement for decimal number system, if we talk in general for any number system, if we say R's complement, when R is the base of the number system, then R's complement is found like this, R to the power N minus capital N. So the uppercase N is the number and this is the number of digits in the number and R is of course the base and there will be another one which is R minus 1's complement which is can be written like this R to the power N lowercase N minus 1 minus uppercase N N is the number so this is in general now when we go to decimal number system R becomes 10 here and if we talk uh, let's say for a two, two digit number N is equal to 2 and we take a number let's say 45 so our uppercase n is 45 so 9's complement is the equivalent of r minus 1's complement we will discuss that first so 9's complement becomes if we write that so that would be 10 r is lowercase r is 10 10 square because there are two digits minus 1 minus 45 which is 100 minus 1 99 minus 45 which is 54 now if we look at this instead of going into the this formula what we can do we just look at the number we, we just look at how many digits are there in the number and find the highest possible number in that system with that many digits so since we are talking about in decimal uh, decimal number the base is decimal uh, 10 base number system and for two bit two digit uh, case the highest number is 99 for three digit it's 999 for four digits 9999 so for two digits it's for two digits is 99 so r minus one's complement which is nine's complement is the highest possible number subtract uh, then we subtract the given number so subtraction of the given number from the highest possible number gives us nine's complement and tens complement instead of going into the formula again is nothing but nine's complement plus one so tens complement should be according to the formula if we go there first i will write in terms of formula that should be r to the power n minus n which is of course 10 square minus n 100 minus 45 gives us 55 we have to write the formula but instead of doing that just the nines complement plus one it's always like that that gives us the tens complement so this is how we can find it if i find another number let's say let's say n is 601 so we have three digits the highest possible number is 99 so when we find nines complement it will be 99 minus sorry 999 sorry there are three digits so it should be 999 minus 601 so that will be 398 that will be nines complement and tens complement of course will be 398 plus 1 so that will be 399 so this is how we can find according to number so if we say just one digit if we say number five nines complement will be nine minus five so that will be four so if our n is five and like that so that will be the ninth complement of five